Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Erica Hughes. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the like button, the notification bell to be notified when I upload new uh, fluid art videos. Um, okay, so we're working on a 20 by 16 inch deep edge canvas. I have it on my spinner and you can now get my spinner on, it's a 14 inch fluid art spinner. You can get it on my website and I'll link that in the description box below, right underneath this video has the removable tabs to help you spin. And if you guys wanna see how I mix my paints, there's also a mixing video in the description box. Um, I've mixed my paints the same way as I always do for my Dutch pours and my other the other techniques that I do. However, I held back on the amount of water because I'm doing something um, a bit different today. So I mix these the same, I just held back on the water. I wanted my paints to be a little bit thicker than I normally would use for my, say, Chaos Dutch Pours or Straight Pours. So I'll go over the colors really quick and what we're going to do. This first color is Amsterdam Titanium White and I added a small dollop of Amsterdam Turquoise Green. And then I have this little piggy TLP um, Pigment Ore which is a nice gold, one of my favorite golds. And then I have this little piggy sea glass and I added in a small drop of a dollop of the um, Amsterdam turquoise green to it to make it more opaque. And then I have Amsterdam um, bronze with some TLP pigment cappuccino. For my base, I'll go over the technique that we're doing in just a second. I have um, a big cup of two of these cups full of Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And that consistency is pretty much just the same as I showed you. I don't know if you'll even be able to see that. So that's all with the USA Flood Flow Troll, my paints, and the pigments are mixed with the gel gloss mixture I make. But link to that video in the description box below if you want to mix how I mix. On this side I have two of the, I'm going to call it the Shelly Art Cell Activator. These are used for the bloom technique. I'm not doing that technique today. Um, if you want to learn more about the bloom technique, I have a link Shelly Art's um, online course in the description below as well. I do have a um, coupon code to get 15% off the course if you want to learn more about that. But this is the cell activator which I will be using to swipe with today. And basically that is Amsterdam paints, titanium white, and oxide black mixed with the Australian Flood Flow Troll, which that bottle looks like this here. And if you are in the States, you can get this in the States not decanted like this, just this bottle right here off the Fluid Art Co. website. And I have that in the link for you, or a link for you guys in the description box below as well if you don't feel like Googling it. I have my gigantic um, palette knife that I'm going to be swiping with. And yes, so the cell activator, this is the consistency. I put the paint in. There's no water in this. I put the paint in and I add that Australian Flood Flow Troll until I get this consistency. Add the Flow Troll slowly. If you don't have the Australian Flood Flow Troll and you want to do something like I'm doing today, you can try just, I've done it before as well, Amsterdam acrylic paints and water. Just mix in the water until you get that same consistency. And you can get some really nice lacing with that. Okay, so plan is we're going to pour some black base down. I'm going to swipe over some of the cell activator. Uh, spin it out or stretch or just tilt it. I'm not sure yet. And then we're going to layer our colors. Swipe that and spin or tilt. Not sure yet. Let's just go for it. Okay, get rid of this paddle. All right, good thing I have that other cup mixed up as well. 
And I also have some white paint over there if needed. All right, I'm gonna save some of this. And before I do any kind of um, tilting, I'm going to swipe through some um, cell activator over the top of this. And then we'll tilt, and then we'll put our colors down. Okay, so now I'm going to put some cell activator on here. Whoop. I'm just going to put this down to... Maybe hold it up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do double cell activator. So, no, we're not, not now. We're just gonna put white down. Okay. And I am just gonna spread this out all across. Um, Molly from Molly's Artistry has been doing these, and they are so cool looking. Um, I've done one before, and I thought I'd play around again with it. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. I just want that edge to be covered. Okay, so we're going for some lacing. Let's see, make sure that this isn't going to hit my cups. Nope. Okay. So we're going to do like a spin kind of sway. I'm just going to go slow. And instead of wasting it, we'll just scrape this off on the side because we're going to need that paint there anyway. Okay, so straight away we have lots of lacing. All right. Okay, now we are going to puddle up some colors. I'm probably going to do it here, like towards this side. Actually, I really like those that lacing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to puddle up about here. And now I have to figure out how I want to layer these colors. So we'll start with some gold. And then we'll go in with some of that bronze cappuccino mix. And I'm going to put in a little bit of black. Okay. And then we're going to go for some of the sea glass mix. And some of this nice opaque titanium white mix with the turquoise. Okay, and now we're going to swipe. I'm going to do a double cell activator. I'm going to put black on first and then white. Actually, I'm probably just gonna like, go like this, and then like that. And we'll just tilt this around. I'll let the, some of that fall off. Okay. So now I'm just gonna, swipe through this and try and make a cool design. Let's go. Oh, I went right over those cells that I loved. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so that's all kind of coming back together and doing its thing. Okay. Whew. Okay, let me get this over here. Move these paints out of the way. Just way that's gathering. Should we do some little swirlies in there? And put these over here. I wish I put these. I 
that's fine here. Actually, we'll just put them back here. So I'm going to be doing more paintings after this. Okay, let's get my watercolor brush and do a little fun swirls or something. Because this is just a bunch of color. I kind of want to make this something maybe. Probably lose a lot of it, but just in case it stays. And then we're just going to probably spin this out. Okay. Okay, that's good. I don't want to go, well, one more. Or two more. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to need more paint, but that's really pretty. Um, you guys can see that. Let's see. Okay, I am going to spin this out and see. We'll just go slow. I know I'm going to need more paint there. Whoops. All right, let's see. I'm going to go nice and slow at first because we're probably going to have to tilt as well. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love that I did those. Okay. Looking good so far. I am going to... Tilt this just a little. See what, how we're looking for paint. I'm probably going to have to get some more paint around them edges. Holy wow. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. I don't really want this to fall off the edge. It's probably going to. However, it does, there's some that came off the edge on this side, some that came off the edge on that side, and some that came off the edge on that side. So if this would probably actually look nicer, balance it out if that was coming off the edge. So I am going to spin this one more time. Okay. I'm going to keep that right there. This is really cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick up some of this paint and just use my fingers or my palette knife to cover up these edges just to make it look nice. I will bring you guys in for a close up. I this is pretty cool. Okay. So, all right, I'll bring you guys down for a close up as soon as I'm done doing this. Okay, I will say I'm definitely going to do some other color palettes with this technique. The colors are okay. I do like the design of it, like the movement, um, and I think a, just a different color palette would be really cool with this. Let me know in the comments below what base color you guys, if you would like to see this something like this again, let me know in the comments below what base color that you would like to see me do. So let's not do black or white. Let's pick a different color. You guys let me know. You pick the base color, and then I'll pick the colors that we puddle up on top, and I'll swipe over those. So you pick the base color, and I'll pick the puddle colors. Let me know what you guys think if you want to see some more of these. I do have white paint mixed up now, so I am going to do um, uh, one with the white base. So that's why I'm saying let's pick a different color. You guys pick the color, and I'll pick the um, colors that we puddle down. And swipe over. 
So let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video and all that good stuff. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.